Because see, if part of our experience of salvation is obedience to Jesus and, and, and a desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to have that pure conscience, then I think our water baptism just goes hand in hand. And, and it's clear to me, just being three chapters into, P, into First Peter, it's very clear to me at this point that Peter does not believe that a physical rite of baptism saves you. So why on earth does he say that? And it's because it's so significant and tied up in the gospel itself that it's absurd that a person who follows Jesus would not be baptized. And that's just the reality of it. That, it, that it, if you indeed want the Holy Spirit to come upon you and to change you and you want to demonstrate that faith, you want to participate in the salvation that God has given you, then you get wet. 